Yo, how's it going? It's Alan Navi, and today we have such a special video. As you guys can tell by the title, we finished 40 and 0, and no better time to finish 40 and 0 than this week in league. In my opinion, it was the most difficult week in league because everyone was in full try hard mode. Because, in case you didn't know, take a look at this tweet that EA Sports FIFA tweeted out: "Last chance at playoff qualification up for grabs. 23 Xbox spots, 16 PlayStation spots. May 5th through the 7th week in league. Top the leader." boards and you're in and what they mean by that is that if you were to top the leaderboards you qualify to the FIFA 18 global series playoffs in Amsterdam the Netherlands the biggest FIFA tournament to date and you guessed it right we finished 40 no and we topped the leaderboards guys so be sure you destroy that thumbs up button for your boy it would just mean the world let's hit a thousand likes I know you guys can do it in my previous 40 and O video I asked for 900 likes a thousand likes and you guys did it so thank you so much for all the support this is some huge news guys so we're gonna be going to that huge tournament so stay up to date with me on Twitter snapchat Instagram all of those social media links are down below in the description so you can stay up to date when I travel this Friday I'm going to Orlando Florida for the Gfinity Cup final the America's final it's going to be absolutely amazing but in today's video we are gonna be going over the last 10 games of this past week in league I was so nervous keep in mind that I did not want to lose because if I were to lose one game that would be it, and I wouldn't qualify. I made it to 30 and 0. So imagine I were to lose, but guys, it was just such a roller coaster of emotions. So be sure you do hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Alan Avi. I am the EMLS pro player for FC Dallas, repping over here. Take a look at that. But without further ado, let's take a look at my squad that got us 40 and 0. This right here is the 40 and 0 squad. We did sell normal CR7, the gold version, for Team of the Season Sun. Take a look at how many goals 36 goals in like 25 games. Such a beast. Take a look at those stats the pace, the shooting, the physical. Five star weak foot. Such a great card. We did have the 87 overall in form Savage, but we did get the path to glory 88 version Savage such a good Midfielder very solid and that's basically it We kept the same squad by and Lozano in the bench for the super subs We really don't use them that much to be honest, but we have them there just in case we do switch to the 4 one 2 one 2 narrow in game These are the uh, player instructions get in behind press the back line for Sonaldo and for Ronaldo We do press the back line get in behind the same thing Ronaldinho the camp stay forward We want him up there the era cut the passing length and stay back while attacking savage stay back while attacking we want him right there in the midfield controlling and dictating the game left back right back stay back while attacking these right here are the 40 no custom tactics they work wonders for me let me know if you try them out and they're good for you but guys we are 30 and 0 and we're heading into this game right here keep in mind that i'm just showing you my last 10 games i played so many top 100 players elite one players it was just so intense so many games man you have to stay composed to finish 40 and 0 keep in mind that i usually play so many weekend leagues i play like every weekend league i've only missed a few and i've only hit uh 40 and 0 twice this is right here is my my second time hitting 40 no and that should tell you something and we clutched up in the most important weekend league guys the top 23 people on xbox i play xbox qualified to the biggest tournament and oh my god i'm about to tell you guys so many things this just means the world to me because i was so close to qualifying two times in february the qualifying month I missed out on qualifying by one to two wins. I got disconnected three or four times that month. It was so devastating, so demotivating. I was I finished 36 wins the first uh, weekend of that month, and then I knew I had to clutch up. Then I went 39, 39, and then 38 because we got disconnected my second to last game. So keep in mind how devastated I was. I, I thought that I would qualify, but we didn't get that qualification. We didn't give up, and we stayed cool-minded. The next opportunity that I had to qualify was in the EMLS Cup. And in case you don't know, this was the inaugural um, EMLS Cup, the first EMLS Cup. If you're not up to date with that, I just follow me because the EMLS is such an amazing league. So many amazing players that are going to this Amsterdam event. Six EMLS players are going. That's amazing. We are a competitive league, and it's just so much fun. It was at the PAX East. I have a vlog. If you haven't checked that out, go and check it out. But anyways, guys. The person, the two finalists get a qualification spot to that tournament. And I lost in the conference final against Kid Mamito. So he got that spot. If I would have beat Kid Mamito in the conference final, I would have qualified. So imagine how devastated I was to not get that qualification spot. I just felt so bad. My cameraman was there from FC Dallas. And I could I was telling him, man, like I just feel so bad. I let everyone down. 
and I thought that it was over, man. So we did get top four in the first ever EMLS Cup. We did lose in the Western Conference Final. It was a pleasure making it all the way to the Western Conference Final out of like 19 EMLS teams. It was such a fun time. So I'm just ready for the next EMLS Cup. But anyways, I felt so bad because I fell short. By one game, I was 90 minutes away from qualifying to that event. But guys, we grinded. We worked hard. And I knew that there was a last chance weekend league. And this is it right here. So many people played in it. Team of the season was out. I played so many god tier squads. It was insane with prime icons, team of the year, stuff like that. I wish I could show you guys, uh, but I'm just showing you guys the last 10 games. I seriously need to start live streaming, live streaming, so be sure you're following me on Twitch because I do plan on live streaming. I just finished school. I am out for summer break. I am a junior in... Um, university but now i'm gonna be a senior so i have one year left i don't know if i'm gonna do my masters but anyways guys it just feels amazing to have done it this week in league take a look at this we we're playing very good very quick ronaldo he tucks it in we are up one nil every game mattered imagine going 30 and 0 and thinking that you just can't choke like if you were to lose one game it's over all of those games you did all that for nothing that's what i was feeling i was so like just uh anxious so paranoid like going into every game i was like okay just relax take it easy and that helped me out a lot a, a tip that i would give you guys is just to be your like be calm don't panic and just play the whole 90 minutes if some bs happens stay up to the um Stay focused. That's what I'm trying to say. Guys, I wish I could show you one of these games. If you really want to see it, go to my uh, Foot Champions channel. It was a, a, against an opponent whose name is like F-U-M Foom. And guys, I was losing 3-0. I felt insanely bad. I was like 28-0. So I thought that game, I was going to lose it. But we came back and we scored three goals to tie them up. And then we scored the fourth goal and we won. So many games that I just had to clutch up right here. But honestly... For most of the games, I would score first, so I would take the lead. But the games, the few games where my opponent would score first, they were so annoying. A roller coaster of emotions because I thought that I was going to get eliminated and not qualified. But guys, I stayed composed. I just finished all of my chances and we did do it. A little fun fact for you guys. Honestly, like it feels so bad saying this, but the prior week before this weekend league, you guys probably think that I was like training, trying to play a lot of FIFA. I really didn't play FIFA. But going into this weekend league, I just didn't feel confident. I didn't feel ready. I only played like three warm-up games before heading into the Foot Champions Weekly League. But there's something about the competitive feel that's just in me where I just click. Like, it clicks. I love playing in competitive environments. And we did it, man. But next in the future, when, before Amsterdam, I will be practicing against other top 100 players and stuff like that. Some of my friends who are down to play because I do need a lot of practice. This tournament in uh, Orlando, Florida, it's going to be a very good tournament because the best of the NA are, are have made it. So it's going to be an amazing tournament. There's only eight people that are going to go. So I don't know the tournament structure, how they're going to do it, but it's going to be very awesome. The number one player who finishes first in the Xbox division in Orlando does get a qualification spot, but we already qualified and it feels amazing going to an event knowing that I already qualified. So now I'm basically playing for the money. But of course, we're going to give it all and try so hard to bring that title back home to Dallas. It's going to be an awesome time but guys we are 30 and 0 38 and 0 take a look at what happens here this guy was playing this weird formation he scored from kickoff and i was like no look at this man i hate going down i'm telling you he scored it was one now keep in mind i was just thinking throughout these last two games like i was just thinking in my head like I, was, I live with my parents, by the way. I was telling them, guys, if I win these games, we're going to Amsterdam. I just got to do it for everyone that's supporting me. And, guys, we equalize one all. But take a look at what happens here. We get the ball. We're being very patient. So much is on the line. I'm pretty sure you guys already understand. We get very fortunate right here. I read the pass. Ferdinand with the best assist. Honestly, Ferdinand and Sergio Ramos are the best center backs in the game. Don't at me. I'm just kidding. But honestly, I heard that Maldini, Prime Maldini is very good. But I am set with my center backs. They did the job, man. My team right now, they did the job. I did want some team of the season players, but I didn't drop any FIFA points. Um, I didn't have enough coins to spend to upgrade my squad. I had an ultimate team of the week pack in my store and two premium team of the week packs. But the team of the week isn't good. My last game. So like on it. Wait, just to finish that off. My team. 
they were good they did the job but i just the team of the week wasn't good enough to open my special pack so we had to play what what we had and they did the job my last game right here take a look at this man we scored right here i was buzzing people usually quit the last games but he didn't quit and take a look at what happens here poor defense to be honest and he scored one all at this point i was like no way i just can't lose this game it would hurt too much but we scored with ronaldo nasario such an a legend i have the 94 version i cannot imagine having the prime ronaldo it would be amazing it would help out tremendously but the 94 did the job we score make a three one right here i was just hoping that i wouldn't get disconnected because i've gone disconnected in qualification months i already told you guys it feels horrible imagine i would get dc'd right here I have some EMLS buddies who did get DC'd this month, um, this week in league, and they were like 26 and no, but we pulled through. We did it. You guys saw on the screen. We finished eighth in the entire world. We get the team of the season rewards. We get six guaranteed, I think, BPL team of the season players. If that is so the case, oh my, we're going to make so many coins. It would be amazing. But take a look at that, man. We finished in the top 23. Fifth in the Americas, eighth in the entire world, which gives us the qualification to the FIFA 18 Global Series playoffs in Amsterdam. Thank you so much to everyone who has supported me in my good, my bad moments. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Trust me, you are the reason that that drives me to do good, to just give it all. Thank you so much. I see you guys in the comment section. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. We're going to Amsterdam. It's going to be an awesome time. Be sure you give this video a big thumbs up so as many people can see it. Alan Abbey fam, where you at? It takes like two seconds. I'd really much appreciate it. We grinded, we finished the 40 and no. No better time to finish 40 and no than this time right here. Thank you so much for all the support. Subscribe if you're new. We do have a lot of content coming. Like I said, this guaranteed top 100, six team of the season players. That pack is going to be epic. We do have an ultimate team of the week pack as well. Two premium team of the week packs and the World Cup mode coming late May, May 29th. It's going to be epic. So much content. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. All of the links are down below. That has been it, man. We finished this episode 40. No, it's amazing. Until then, have a great day, great night, wherever you're at. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.